he was wrong, okay, in saying what he did. But now the conversation has turned to Islamophobia. Okay, any criticism of anything Islam related is now Islamophobia. No, that's now not we true. Have forgotten. Wait, I, I want to carry on. Well, you now can't say things that aren't true, Brad. Now we've forgotten, James, about the anti-Semitism, which is absolutely rife, vile, and very, very threatening to the Jewish community. Anti-Muslim hatred is awful. However, it is incredibly prevalent within, and pretty much a thousand times more prevalent, within the population of Jews. Now, what I'm saying is, now we're having this whole conversation about one MP out of 650 who may have said something pretty damn silly, but we've now moved the whole conversation away from anti-Semitism. And how well, we no, but that. Brett, can, are, I, can I speak James, now? James, I no, you carry on. Thing. There are a number of mosques in the UK, okay, I am certainly not an Islamophobe, I'm not anti-Muslim, but I'm worried about the prevalence of anti-Semitism within Islam. It the reason why this conversation is unfolding in the way that it is on this day uh, is as a direct consequence of a former deputy chairman of the Conservative Party indulging in base Islamophobia. And the fact that you don't want that conversation to be had is just a little odd. I would say to you that both conversations can be held. Why do you want to close one of them down? I, I don't. I just well, feel you did. You've literally try... phoned in no. to object to the fact that we're talking about Islamophobia, Brett, and that's just <laughs> weird. I think I, no, it's not weird. And it taking things out of context, James. I'm not, mate. Everyone's heard really the conversation, like... Brett. Everyone's heard exactly what you said. That is, you rang in to complain that we were talking about Islamophobia. Western people in the UK cannot raise anti-Semitism without raising Islamophobia at the same time. That's it's not like true. Have to be mutually That's exclusive. not true. Yes, we, spoke for, we spoke for the duration of Jeremy Corbyn's leadership of the Labour Party about the anti-Semitism. Well, that just because it was horrendously rampant. But, yes, but you can't keep contradicting. You can't keep contradicting yourself. You just said we can't talk about it without bringing Islamophobia into it. I'm reminding you that we can, we do, so, well, and we, we did. 